Hey guys, Phoenix here and welcome back to To The Moon. When we last left off, we'd managed to get back all the way as far as we could into Johnny's memory. So, this is his childhood memory, so we're going to have a look around. Um, hello. Now we haven't got much time because Johnny, the old, in real life, is actually dying. So we don't have much time to look around here. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. Um, okay, he's talking. Oh, hello. Hmm. Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. Oh, look how many there is of him. Look at how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. <laughs> I've just said that. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, right, but where's the one... Can we actually talk to any of them? Oh, hang on. We're going somewhere. Oh jeez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The star closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Hmm, okay. The music's very intense here. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying... Never mind that, maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... <gasps> She's gonna crush a car. We need to go back, now. Uh oh, what's happening? Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. <laughs> okay, just shut up. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? The music. <laughs> uh oh. Did you see the dead squirrel down there? Mm. She can't run him over. Because he lives. Oh! <gasps> oh my god. What? Oh, I know. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. <gasps> did he have a twin, maybe? Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? <clears throat> didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Ah, <gasps> Joey! Oh my god. Oh, this is sad. Joey, can you hear me? Joey! Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! <gasps> oh, this is horrible. Joey? even though they were young. To lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. Oh God, you can't even begin to imagine. At least Johnny had the beta blockers to erase his memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seemed to have gone a little cuckoo. Oh, at least I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? Hmm. 
I don't like it here. Let's move on. Yes, please, could we get out of here now? Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Let's go. Let's get away from this place. Oh, we're we going even further back. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. Oh god, this is sad. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I'm already plowed through three brooks straight. <laughs> What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind controlling slugs. <laughs> I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and more big bad aliens. They're all like raw, 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 raw. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Aww. Just watch, Johnny. One day I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich. How are you going to give your books away for free? <laughs> and buy both you and my really big houses. How would you get rich if you gave the books away for free? That's what I just said. Free for the kids. The parents still have to pay of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I cost, I called first dibs on the train, fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favoured you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. Oh, I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? <laughs> oh. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours too. Oh, he's really nice, isn't he? I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi. Let's go confuse the neighbours. <laughs> Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on. Hmm. Oh, this is a bit more cheerful. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Oh, you ruined it. Right, come on then, let's have a look around. Oh, here they are. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too, he just went first. <laughs> it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, John. Okay, you dumplings, don't block this dam now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. <laughs> You're bluffing. Call me a dumpling and see what happens to you. <laughs> right, what are they at next? 
Ah yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my! Come on, I'm getting both of your treats. You can't believe that, really? Hey, where's my tip? You don't really deserve one, because none of them turn out to be doctors or lawyers. Alright, we're going in for a game of whack-a-mole, are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Whack, whack! <gasps> Come on! Whoa! No, we missed one! Go! <gasps> this is harder than it looks! <laughs> Get down! Yes, come on! Come on, whack, 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 moles! Come on, yes, come on! Oh, how dare you get away from me! That's it, get them all, get them all! Woof! And you, no! Oh, the mouse is so tricky! Come on! Go, and again! Come on! Two seconds left, we can get them! We get a prize? <gasps> Time's up! Let's see now! Out of 48, you struck 72 times and made 39 successful hits. Ah, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> that's a 81% hit rate. It's your new record. It's my only record, thank you. <laughs> ah, 81%, well, it could be better. I hit way too many times. Okay, here they are. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? Just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. So he's on that he's happy called olives. Maybe. You should at least try one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. I uh, know. <laughs> I'm done though. Can I go play? Okay, put only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine, I won it. Hmm. Received a note about pickled olives. Yum, yum. Where's he off to? Come back, Johnny, we're trying to talk to you. Way to follow Mum's orders, huh? Told you not to leave the park. <laughs> uh oh, where are you going? Come back. Well, he's going quite far, really. Um, are you lost? Wow! Is he just enjoying nature? Whoa! Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. It's quite a cool place, really. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to actually pretend like I'd slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. That's what granddad's a ball. <laughs> I know. It's a shame though.
all these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it for a moment for a moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that? Uh oh, I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Oh. Hello. Oh, it's River. Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Wow. I actually see them properly look. <laughs> 